elaborate or go off key today. Terry's told me, I mean, even if I get a laugh, I've got to carry on, so I'm just going to read this from the paper. Uh, firstly, good afternoon, good evening, everyone. I mean, thank you all for coming today. Obviously, for those of you who have no idea who I am, I'm Scott, I'm Josh's brother, and also his best man. I'll be honest, I wasn't expecting him to ask me, but now I've come to think about it, I think he must have had a premonition after his first stag do, or his second stag do, sorry, that obviously his night would end just after midnight, and he'd be chucking up in the middle of the club, <laughs> and I'd be the only one willing to risk his, risk his Uber rate and get him home. We won't go into how to help Ossie wipe his ass, get him undressed before tucking him in for the night. <laughs> no, seriously, Josh, it's a great honour to be asked to be a part of both Josh and Robin's special day. And before I go any further, can I just say, Robin, you look absolutely beautiful today. And it is a pleasure welcoming you into our family. Not only you, Robin, I'd also like to welcome the rest of your family into ours. It's been a great pleasure to get to know you all over the last few years. And uh, yeah, I'm not going to go further, Jane. knows more than more than needs to know about that. I'd also like to thank obviously both Jay and Josh for their speeches. You've left me with a hard act to follow, and absolutely nobody left to thank. So thank you both for that. I'd also like to thank both Josh and Robin again for asking us to all be involved in one of the most important days of their lives. I know I've put a tremendous, obviously they put a tremendous amount of effort into planning their wedding, and I can only hope, apart from this speech anyway, that it would have exceeded the expectations. I wanted, when putting this speech together, to try and alleviate any fears Robin may be having about spending the rest of, the life, of her life with my brother. After sitting there for several hours, I was still left with a blank sheet of paper. <laughs> At that point, I began to worry for myself. <laughs> So after a couple more hours of liberation, I called our mum to ask her to just dig uh, out Josh's old school reports. Ooh. <laughs> 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 Josh, 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 Josh. <laughs> so Robin, to put your mind at ease, I'll now go on to list out just a few of Josh's greatest achievements throughout his school years and early adolescence. I'm going to start with maths. <laughs> Joshua, obviously quoted from his teacher's reports, has applied his depth of knowledge to working with money up to 10p. <laughs> Not only that, he can also add, uh, add up and subtract, sub, subtract numbers to 10p with increased confidence. <laughs> Robin, I think it's safe to say you're looking after the finances. <laughs> Moving on to IT. Joshua is now competent in the use and function of a mouse. <laughs> Not only that, he's becoming increasingly confident with using a keyboard. <laughs> So Josh, obviously, should the carpentry not work out, I think it's safe to say you'll be you'll be um, you'll be doing clear of an office job. <laughs> However, music. <laughs> Josh's teacher goes on to state in black and white, I have the report to hand as proof. Should anybody require confirmation, she quotes, Joshua has a pleasant singing voice and it's all. <laughs> He's also enjoyed in devising his own verses to, 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 uh, to traditional songs. <laughs> Not only that, I'm going to include Joshua's PE teacher's comments at this point too. Although I do appreciate we are on the subject of music, but the two do relate. So here it goes. Joshua enjoys the creative experience of expressing his ideas through dance. <laughs> I will say that I don't quite believe Joshua's teacher's comments were qualified, obviously they were qualified in these respective areas, however I do hope to clarify on this point fully later on this evening, and so I've requested that DJ play one of Joshua's favourite best hits, The Anne Rhymes, Can't Fight the Moonlight. <laughs> My sisters will explain. <laughs> Whilst being on the fringe of achieving a saint the grade C, going into his final year of secondary school, Joshua, Joshua's English teacher felt that by taking up reading of a good quality, his teacher's words, daily newspaper, it would assist Josh in achieving that final grade C at the end of the year. It so happens that Josh could not achieve the grade C he required that year. I do have a sneaky suspicion, however, that Josh misunderstood the advice the teacher gave him when he said a daily good quality newspaper would help him to learn. 
I don't think the centre bold section of the daily sport <laughs> that he attempted to hide away under his mattress was quite what the teacher had in mind. You're meant to find them. I was looking for something. <laughs> So Robin, I do appreciate that Josh's achievements be on a piece of paper mixed in with other applicants. His application may not have jumped out at you and said pick me. I have however left out Josh's great achievement to date. That achievement is you. Although I appreciate things have not always been so simple and that there may have been bumps in the road, I do feel, as I'm sure everybody else does here today, that you two are made for each other. And I won for one, well, wish you all the very best in the future, as again, I'm sure we all do here today. Robin, as your new brother-in-law, I'd like to give you one final piece of advice. A husband is a lot like a half the floor. You lay it once, you lay it well, and you can walk over it for the rest of your life. <laughs> Of course, only true so long as you don't draw a screw to any of the pipes first they Josh. <laughs> it's been an absolute pleasure watching the two of you grow as a couple and maturing to the people that you are today. Stay kind, look after each other. We're also proud of you both. Could you all please stand mm -hmm. and join me in raising the glass to Team Jobbing, <laughs> the new Mr. and Mrs. Bennett. <laughs> Also, Jay's also asked me to say, please no one nick the pictures.